let's quickly do a farm review over antiarrhythmics. This medication class works against arrhythmia. So we're talking about some abnormal heart rhythms. And some medications that are in this class include flecainide, procainamide, amiodarone, and quinidine. So these medications are really good at treating those fast arrhythmias. So some fast arrhythmias include atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, ventricular tachycardia, and supraventricular tachycardia, SVT. Now how these medications work is that they slow down the electrical activity in the heart by altering various ion channels in the heart. So that's actually a great thing whenever you're having these fast arrhythmias like SVT, VTAC, we're gonna slow things down and make that heart chill out a little bit. However, because we're slowing things down, we can slow down things a little too slow and it can lead to the following side effects. We could cause bradycardia, hypotension, or we could cause the development of a new arrhythmia. We could cause some type of heart block. We can prolong that, you know, PR interval, which leads to our heart block, or we can prolong the QT interval. And you do not want to prolong that QT interval. Whenever you start doing that, it can lead to like torsades, which is extremely dangerous. Also, these medications can alter potassium and magnesium levels, and particularly with amiodarone, it can affect the lungs. It can cause lung toxicity. So you definitely want to monitor the lung function. And this medication class can affect the skin and cause rash. Therefore, because of those side effects, a nurse's role includes monitoring the rhythm, making sure they're not entering into those rhythms that we were talking about, assessing the blood pressure, the heart rate, looking at those electrolyte levels, and then with IV, let's say your patient's getting this IV route, making sure they're not getting phlebitis. Now, some protocols, depending on where you work, like with amiodarone, they may require that that's just given through a central line. But if you do have to give it IV, know that there is a high risk of phlebitis. Plus, a lot of protocols recommend that a patient has a chest x-ray whenever they are getting amiodarone. So you wanna make sure you're looking at the results of that. Okay, so that wraps up this video over cardiac medications. If you'd like to watch more videos in this pharmacology series, you can access the link below.